if we could add our own personality into our own pottery, what begins to happen is that our pottery starts to change for the better. And your personality and your storytelling, the way you make your pottery can be different every single time. What is up, Shape Nation? This is Nick Torres here. And for those that don't know me, it is my mission to help potters like yourself discover your own unique voice with your pottery. If you have been following me for a while now, you have probably noticed that I am a pretty big nerd. And being a nerd kind of influences the way that I make my own pottery. Because I like a bunch of these nerdy stuff. And I like to apply that nerdy stuff into my own pottery. And one of the things that I really enjoy is watching anime. I have always grown up watching anime. My favorite memories of watching anime was watching Dragon Ball Z with my two of my brothers. And we would sit on the couch with a computer in between my oldest brother, one of my brother's laps. And we would just watch it with terrible internet. But we watched it on an illegal site because we want, he wanted to watch Dragon Ball Z with us. And I love those memories so much because that's how I got started really watching Dragon, Dragon Ball Z and anime. Maybe besides like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! But I love those memories so much because it would literally be like every single day, can we go watch some more? Can we go watch some more? And I love those so much. And outside of Dragon Ball Z, my next favorite anime is One Piece. One Piece. I absolutely love the story for it, and it really, I find it very funny, I find it very, like, comical sometimes, and the story is so great, and the action scenes are great as well, that's my, probably my second favorite one, but why am I telling you about anime, and how this impacts the way we find our voice, well, the reason why I bring up anime is because I was trying to dissect what is it that I like about certain animes or like what is it that i like about certain animes that really bring my attention well for the one piece example that i really like is that i love the story the story is very very good and on top of that the emotional scenes in one piece are very very good as well like they don't have them all too often you know like where somebody is dying or somebody is like going through something but when they happen it makes it that much more impactful and it makes the story that much greater because if they if they did it every single time where it was like every single episode somebody was dying somebody was going in and you know just maybe something goes wrong every single episode no they add elements of comedy they add elements of fight scenes they add elements of emotion and one Piece, which is a, an anime about pirates, you would think there'd be lots of deaths in it, in there, does this really well, where it mixes emotions very well and also tells a very good story along the way. Dragon Ball Z kind of does the same thing. The story's not as great as One Piece, but it does add in like moments of comedy and also seriousness and like the great fight scenes as well, which is what I really like. And I think we could take a lesson from what I kind of dissected here from these animes that I like. And that is basically adding in elements of your own personality into your own pottery. Because another reason why I like these animes so much is because you could see the author's personality going into each anime, each episode, and each panel that they create. You could see their personality. You could see how goofy they can be. They could see their dreams or the things that they used to like when they were little. And I think we could do the same thing with our own pottery, right? If we could add our own personality into our own pottery, what begins to happen is that our pottery starts to change for the better. And your personality and your storytelling, the way you make your pottery can be different every single time. Much like how we have different personalities kind of throughout the day sometimes, like maybe you could be angry one day because you're not just feeling, you're just not feeling it, right? Maybe something went wrong. and you're just not feeling it. So maybe you're feeling a little angry, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit frustrated, maybe something really, really, really well. And now you're all of a sudden happy. Or maybe something sad happened. And now all of a sudden you are sad and you are, your emotions are down. But I think we can apply those same principles that I noted out from anime. We can apply them to our own pottery. If you are feeling down one day, 
why not try putting those emotions and try putting them into your own pottery? If you're feeling happy one day, why don't you try to make pottery revolving around happy? Whatever you're making, let's say, for example, you normally make some animal-themed pottery. Like, you you graffito some animal designs onto there, there's maybe some mountains in the background. And normally, you have the, let's say, a fox. You have a fox doing the same thing over and over again. Maybe just going through the mountains, going through different scenery. What if you made a fox looking like it was playing instead of just walking through? Because now you're adding some emotion and you're adding your own emotions into that pot piece of pottery and that piece of that pot. And if you add more emotion into the pottery, then it's going to tell a story as well. It's going to tell a story of what happened in this pot. What, like what, why is it so happy? What's the scene going on? And that's the same thing as an anime, right? They walk you through a scene of like they build up the build up the build up the build up the build up and then bam they hit you with something emotional they hit you with something that is going to make you feel the actual scene maybe they start adding some music into there maybe they start adding some other elements in but they start doing those things because it's telling a good story and you could tell a story with your own pottery as well by using the emotions you have throughout the day and applying them to your own pottery thanks for listening to this episode of shaping your pottery i really appreciate it that is all I have to say, and I'll see you guys next time. And let me know if you guys like anime and which anime is your favorite. I would love to hear it. I'll see you guys next time.